ప్రశాంత్ విశ్వనాథ్ ధనశెట్టి అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ సివిల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ వాల్చంద్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ టెక్నాలజీ సోలాపూర్ టుడే ఐఎమ్ ఇయర్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ యూ అబౌట్ స్లోప్ అండ్ డిఫ్లెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ సింప్లీ సపోర్టెడ్ బీమ్ వెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ సబ్జెక్టెడ్ టు యూనిఫార్మ్లీ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూటెడ్ లోడ్ బై డబల్ ఇంటిగ్రేషన్ మెథడ్ so today's learning outcome is the students will be able to understand and find the values of slope and deflection of a simply supported beam when subjected to udl now what is a beam element a beam is a structural element that primarily resists the loads applied laterally to the axis its mode of deflection is primarily by and bending so this is the axis of the beam and the load is applied lateral to the beam axis and this is resisted by the bending action so beam are classified depending upon the support conditions they are cantilever beam simply supported beam overhanging beam fixed beam and continuous beam so we are dealing with simply supported beam so why the slope and deflections are to be necessary to be measured so the design of beam is governed by rigidity rather than its strength therefore building codes specify the limits on deflection as well as stresses excessive deflection of the beam not only is visually disturbing but may also cause damage to other parts of the building so building codes limits the maximum deflection so it is necessary to measure the slope and deflection of the beam deflection of the beam the deflection at any point on the axis of the beam is the distance between its position before and after bending so this is the initial position of the beam and this is the final position of the beam after load is applied so the distance between these is called as the deflection of the beam so as you can see for simply supported with udl the maximum deflection is at the center and it reduces near the support slope of beam slope at any section in a deflected beam is defined as an angle in radians which the tangent at a section makes with the original axis of the beam so now if i draw a tangent to this arc so i am getting the maximum uh, theta at the support so i am draw the tangent here and this angle is the theta that is the slope of beam simply supported beam a beam supported or resting freely on the support at both its end is called as simply supported beam so there are various method of finding slope and deflection for the beams which are subjected to various loads so important among them are double integration method macaulay's method and moment area method so we are dealing with double integration method so the equation of double integration method how it has arrived so when a beam is subjected to udl or a point load it is deflected from its original position and it is having a curvature shape and it is having some origin and this distance to the curvature is the radius of the beam so the radius of curvature of a deflected beam is given by the equation m upon i z equals to e by r therefore m upon ei is equals to 1 upon r this is equation number a but practically 1 upon r is d2y by dx square this is equation number b therefore equating this equation a and b we get m upon ei is equals to d2y by dx square therefore m is equals to ei d2y by dx square this is equation number 1 so this equation is used to find slope deflection by double integration method now we will see the deflection of a simply supported beam when it is subjected to udl so this is the udl which is having w per unit length intensity and ab shows this initial position of the beam before load is applied and a c dash b shows the position of the beam when load is applied as the loading is symmetric the reaction at both ends a and b ra is equals to rb is equals to wl by 2 now we will consider a section x at a distance 
x uh, section x at a distance x from support a so remaining part is l minus x total length of the beam is l so now bending moment at this section so it is reaction into this distance minus this intensity of load into this distance because this is clockwise uh, moment of reaction and the udl is anti clockwise so here mx is equals to reaction that is wl by 2 into x minus now this udl intensity is w into x square by 2 so this is equation number 2 but the bending moment at any section is also given by equation 1 that we have seen that m is equals to ei d2y by dx square putting the value of m at the section x so we get ei d2y by dx square is equals to wl by 2 into x minus wx square by 2 so integrating this above equation we get ei dy by dx is equals to wl by 2 so integration of x is x square by 2 minus w by 2 and integration of x square is x cube by 3 plus c1 so c1 is the constant of integration this we will treat as equation number 3 now again integrating this equation number 3 we get ei y is equals to now wl by 4 into now x square integration is x cube by 3 minus w by 6 into x cube integration is x4 by 4 plus c1 into x plus c2 this is equation number 4 now this c1 and c2 are the constants of integration which can be obtained from the boundary condition of the beam now what are the boundary conditions of simply supported beam here pause the video for a minute and try to get answer write it on a paper as the beam is simply supported the values obtained from the boundary conditions are at x is equals to 0 y is equals to 0 and at x is equals to l y is also 0 means at both the ends deflection is 0 now substituting the value x is equals to 0 and y is equals to 0 in equation number 4 we get c2 is equals to 0 now again substituting x is equals to l and y is equals to 0 in equation number 4 we get 0 is equals to wl by 4 into l cube by 3 minus w by 6 into l 4 by 4 plus c1 into l plus 0 now <coughs> this solving this wl 4 by 12 minus wl 4 by 24 plus c1 l so we get from this c1 is equals to minus wl cube by 24 now substituting the value of c1 is equals to minus wl cube by 24 in equation number 3 we get ei dy by dx is equals to wl by 2 into x square by 2 minus w by 2 into x cube by 3 minus wl cube by 24 this is equation number 5 and this equation is known as slope equation we can find a slope at any section of a beam by substituting the value of x the slope is maximum at the support let it be theta a so we will put x is equals to 0 in the above equation to get the slope at support that is theta a so ei theta a is equals to now this term it becomes 0 and this term is having x value it becomes 0 minus wl cube by 24 therefore theta a is equals to theta b is equals to minus wl cube by 24 ei this is equation number 5a so theta a is equals to theta b because the load is symmetric now again putting the values of c1 is equals to minus wl cube by 24 and c2 is equals to 0 in equation number 4 we get ei y is equals to wl by 4 into x cube by 3 minus w by 6 into x4 by 4 minus wl cube upon 24 into x so this is equation number 6 this equation is known as deflection equation so we can find the deflection at any point in the beam by substituting or putting the value of x so now for udl the deflection is maximum at the center at x is equals to l by 2 so we will put at x is equals to l by 2 so that we can find the deflection yc at the center so putting x is equals to l by 2 in the above equation we get 
EIYC is equals to W L by 12 into now L by 2 cube minus W by 24 into L by 2 raised to 4 minus W L cube by 24 into L by 2. So solving this we get now EIYC is equals to minus W L 4 by 384 EI. Therefore YC is equals to minus W L 4 upon 384 EI. This is equation number 6A. So the negative sign of deflection show that it the deflection is downwards. So these are my references which I have referred.